Hi everyone, this is gamer for fun and welcome to another unboxing here at my channel. This time we're gonna unbox the new Nintendo Switch game, Fire Emblem Engage. This is the Divine Edition, so it comes with more goodies. So let's open this game up and see what's inside. So here is the game box, a really cool artwork here. Here is the side, Fire Emblem Engage, Divine Edition. Here is the Nintendo logo on top. And the other side is the same. Here we have the back side. It contains the game card in a normal game case. The steelbook, which looks very cool, art cards, the Art of Fire Emblem Engage art book, and an A1 sized poster. So let's try and open this now. Here we can actually see some artwork of pixelated characters. And this again is the really cool box art. Let's start with the game on the side here. This is the steelbook, very shiny. You can see the two main characters here, as well as the white dragon creature and the black snake creature. This is the back. And this is the side here where it says Fire Emblem Engage. So that is the steelbook. Let's put that down there. This is the normal game case, and again, very cool artwork on the front, and on the side, Fire Emblem Engage. So let's just open this one so we can see the artwork and inside better. And now let's take a look at the back side and see what this says. The future dawns on a tale of rings and dragons. So that's the main tagline. Let's open it up. There is some paperwork which are not very important. The graphic inside the case is amazing. Look at this art. It seems like the map is in the center and a dragon or something around it. It's a very normal Switch game as we all know. So let's take a look at this thing on the right here. Quite glossy package. So let's open it. And here we actually see the art cards. And there are also some cool graphics inside this box. So this should be different character profile pictures in the game. So we can just skip through everything here quickly. A lot of characters. So let's go through them one by one. So here we see the backside. Everything has the same picture and also the same title of the game, Fire Emblem Engage. So the first one here is Marth. He is very known if you have played Super Smash Bros. Melee. And you can also see it's very shiny and some different colors when you have it different ways. And it's also a very thick paper, so good quality here. Next one is Celia. I don't know much about these characters, but again, really cool artwork. And it's very shiny. Next one is Sigurd, which I recognize the name of. Cool artwork. Life is the next one, which is kind of a Norwegian name as well. You can see on his sword that it's really shiny and changes colors. Really cool artwork on these so far. Next one is another famous one. This is Roy, also from the Super Smash Bros. series. And again, his sword is quite shiny. This is Lynn, with her green hair, and green background, and a nice blue dress. This is Erika and Ef Efriam, I think. I'm sorry if I pronounced these names wrong. Since I haven't played much Fire Emblem, then I don't know exactly how all the names are pronounced. This is Aiki, or Ike. Also another Super Smash Bros. famous character. And yeah, really cool cards. This is Mishia. 
Mishaya, maybe? A tiny bird there and a cool orange background. This is Lucina, I think. Again, a cool pose there and a cool sword as well. Blue background and purple hair. Corin is also very known. I have actually heard her name before. And the sword is changing colors as well in the light. And last but not least, the main character from the previous game, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Byleth. This time represented with a male character and his cool sword there as well. So next up, let's try and find the art book as well. It's inside on the back here. And here we also have the giant A1 poster. I had to take a picture of this separate because it was so big. Here you can see the game case on the poster just to show you how big it is. And here is the art book itself. So let's open this up. And flip through it quickly. This art book has 200 pages. So we will go through them one by one. It is in a soft paper instead of a hardback book, but that probably makes it cheaper to produce. So here we have the art book, the art of Fire Emblem Engage. So this art book should be 200 pages. So here we have a cool picture in the beginning with our main characters and the white dragon creature and the black snake creature. If you at any point want to see the pictures from the art book more closely, then just pause the video and watch it in full screen. I have recorded this in 4K, so the quality of the video should be excellent. So here we have the world map. Helios, I think it's pronounced. And each of the different lands inside the world map. So I'm probably gonna be wrong when I pronounce the names of these places or characters, but I haven't played the game yet so I don't know how it's pronounced. So the first page we go to is Land of Lithos. And here we see a big castle. Some interior artwork here. Some artwork from outside. I think this is supposed to be the school area, which was in Fire Emblem Three Houses. And here we have a nice sword as well. So the first character we come to is Lumeria. And then the next one is Alear which is the female version first of our playable character. And then on the next page we have the male version. This is the one I'm gonna play as. And maybe on my next playthrough I will play as the female character. So here is a character called Cleen. So here is Fremen or something. Vandrer, and here on the side we have some cool pixel art of the characters we're seeing. Here is the giant white dragon creature, and the big castle. Here's an overview map of the entire world. And this next part is called the Sommiel, which seems like it's French based. So pardon my French pronunciation, since I don't speak French. Here is what I think it will be replacement for this school in Fire Emblem Three Houses. You can see it's up in the sky and it has some map markings there as well. And yeah, it looks like a kind of a school and as it was in the previous game, this is probably your main hub. Here are some concept arts from the inside. So if you want to look closely at these pictures, then just pause the video.
Here are some furniture. Quite cool furniture here as well when you can see the wood parts. Here is something that looks like a cat or a dog. Sommier something. I think this is a character that you can pet and actually grow together with. Here is Anise, I think it's pronounced. I'm just guessing what the names are because I haven't played the game yet. Pinet, maybe? And here are some casual wear. More of the same, it seems, on these two pages. And here is even more, and some of them are cool designs. The next part here is called the Kingdom of Firen, I think is how it's pronounced. Here we see a big castle on top of a hill, and beside here is a big lake. Some more concept arts. And here we see inside the castle, and this is Queen Eve. Alfred is a good name to pronounce, because it's probably how it spells. Boucheron, or something. Etier, I think it will pronounce it. Celine, big dress there. Chloe, that's also easy. And Louise. So some of the names are easier than the others. And here again we see some cool pixel art. I think this will be pronounced Jean. And some more clothing as well on these pages. So here we see Kingdom of Brodia, I think. A big castle again, in the top of the mountains. And a really cool picture on this side. This is King Moriel, I think. Diamant, something. Here we have Amber and Jade. And you can see on this artwork that it's a lot of black and red on their clothes. So this is probably the sign of these people. Alchrist, I think. Again, really cool armor and character design. Citrine, I think. And Lapis. She looks a little bit like one of the main characters from Fire Emblem Three Houses. And here we have Yunaka and Saphir. More clothing. And some black and white pictures here as well. Really cool pictures. Next up here is something called Kingdom of Elusia. And this picture here really looks like Hogwarts on top of this snowy mountain. Some more photos here in black and white. And this seems like to be inside a cathedral. Really cool pictures, almost looks like these are photos. And here we can see King Hyacinth. Hyacinth maybe, something like that. This is Ivy, cool dress. Kagestu, maybe? And Selko. This is Hortensia, or at least it's, I think it is. Gold Mary, really easy to pronounce, and you can see she has a lot of gold or yellow clothes. And this is Rosado. This is an easy one, Anna. And Lindon, also a quite easy name to pronounce. More clothing. It seems like this is a much colder place since all the characters here have big coats on them. And the next one here is Queendom of Solm. And this seems like this is inspired by something in the Middle East, where you can see the big towers and the big dome on top there. Where you can see here again, the same picture, and some more artwork here as well. Almost like in the first Assassin's Creed. This is Queen Sephoria, I think. Queen Sephoria. Timera. Really cool dress as well. Looks like a big uh, bird. 
Marin on this side. Looks like she has a big tail. And Panette. Again, I'm just guessing the names here. Fogado. And here is the backside of this character. Bunet. I think this is more like a chef or a server. And Pandero. And Seedal. A big cape on the back there. And more clothing. You can see that this is clearly inspired by the Middle East with the headwear and the dress and capes. This looks very dark. This is the land of Gardlom. And you can see here that this is a really dark place. Here is the snake dragon I think again. And some more internal shots here. This character's name is Sombron. And here again, I don't know if he turns into this dragon creature or if it's a separate creature. Sephira. And this one is a bit weird because it only is question marks. It seems like it's a girl, but it might also be a boy on the face there. And this is Vele. And Mawir. As you can see this other hair did not have any pixel art. This must be Marnie. And this is Gris. He looks really crazy. Here we can see something called the Corrupted. So maybe this is some kind of zombies or something. I don't know. I will figure it out when I play the game. So this part is called Emblems and Rings. This is the way we call upon other characters from previous Fire Emblem games. And you can see here all the different rings, almost like in Lord of the Rings. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 12 rings. And these are all the different characters and their rings. So you can definitely see some of the famous characters here. Like Bailiff in the bottom right corner. And then we also have Ike or Ike, Marth and Roy. All the characters here have different kind of designs on their rings. Which is really cool. These are some more arts from the different uh, characters you can call upon from the rings. We are on page 156 now of 200. So we're soon through this book. And here are some more concept arts of the rings. The next part here is called class designs. So that's probably the different classes we can battle with. So here we have the archer class. Here is the sniper class. This is their armor or armor class, general, sage. And High Priest. These are probably magic users. Or some kind of warlock or something. We have Axe Fighter. Warrior. Sword Fighter here. And Sword Master. Here is Lance Fighter. And Halbrader. I really like the previous game so I'm looking forward to play this. These are thieves, and this is a cavalier, which I think is something that rides horses. Here is a paladin, and that's also probably a magic user. And here we see different designs for the horses or the mounts. Mage knight here, also a magic user I think. And you can even see the horse has a witch hat. Wolf knight. With a long tail and their wolf partner. Griffin Knights and a Griffin character. Vyren Knight, I think it's called. Dragon or dinosaur, I think. Here is Great Knight and a horse with a lot of armor on. The design of the armor on noble horses. 
and sentinel horses. Some of these designs are really cool. Wing Tamer, which is also another dragon dinosaur design. And Wing Tamer here as well with a horse design. Baron Knight again. Look really cool, the design of both the dragon creatures and the characters. And Melusi, or something. So the last part here is objects and weapons. And a lot of cards with different characters on. Maybe these are the uh, Fire Emblem character cards that we use to call upon the different heroes. Here is a lot of weapons. Swords, axes and bows, as well as some spears. So that's the entire look through of the art of Fire Emblem Engage. So this is everything that comes in the Divine Edition. I'm really looking forward to play this a little bit later. And if you want me to do a review when I'm done with the game, then just let me know in the comments down below. Also remember to click the subscribe button and the like button as well if you haven't done that already. I'm gamer for fun thank you for watching this unboxing video. If you want more unboxing videos, then click this playlist, where I've done unboxings of games and other stuff previously, and I will see you in the next video.